I get to go out to the smoker today. It has been so long. And better still, I'm doing tri-tip. Hi everybody, and thanks for stopping by. As I said, I'm gonna be doing tri-tip today. Actually, two tri-tips and I'm gonna be doing them in the Santa Maria style. A little bit of a twist. I'm not gonna be using the exact seasoning that you would use on a Santa Maria tri-tip, but I am gonna be cooking it over red oak on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland Offset Smoker. Now, the first thing I need to do is get the rub ready. It's really simple. Let me show you. So these are the spices for the rub. This is the basic, 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 traditional Santa Maria tri-tip rub. A lot of times they'll add other things, uh, rosemary, cumin, things like that. But I have seen some people do it with just these super simple ingredients. Two tablespoons of ground black pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of coarse salt. That's it. Now we just gotta mix it up. The easiest way to mix it up, shove it inside a little container and shake it. There we go. That is our basic, simple Santa Maria tri-tip rub. So this is one of my tri-tips. There's two of them, each about two and a half pounds. They've already been trimmed up by the butcher. I don't need to do anything more. And let's just get it rubbed now. Give it a nice coating and rub in. I'm gonna get the edges on both sides. Yes, there's still a little bit of fat on here and a little bit of membrane. I have found though with tri-tips, you don't want to cut them all the way down until there's just meat. You want to leave a little bit of this fat and everything on there. You do want to get excess membrane, excess fat off, but this is just about right in my opinion. One tri-tip down, have one more to rub, then I'm going to set them aside and go get the smoker going. Both tri-tips are on. Uh, they're going to be going with red oak, maybe a little mesquite. Uh, got good smoke, nice thin blue smoke, you almost can't see it. I put them in when the pit temp hit about 225, 230. Uh, it dropped a little bit, which is normal. It'll come back up. I'm going to try and keep it between 225 and 250. Uh, these tri-tips, they can take anywhere from an hour to two and a half, three hours. These two, I expect they're probably going to take somewhere around an hour and a half. Uh, if I can maintain that pit temperature. I'm gonna pull them when the internal temp is 125 degrees, because it's still gonna rise for a little bit. I'm gonna wrap it up in foil, and it'll probably get to about you know 130, which is just at medium rare, maybe a little closer to medium, but it's right about where I like it. So we'll be keeping an eye on the temperature, and we'll check the pit when it gets close, or if we need to add wood. I am so excited to be smoking out here again. It's been a while. I'm happy. I want to do a quick little check here with the instant read thermometer just to confirm temperatures. That one's showing 85 internal. This one's showing about 100 internal there, so I must be off on a little bit. Each, sometimes like I said, like I said, tri tips can be a little bit like brisket. No two pieces are alike. Getting good, getting close there. Tri tip isn't one of those pieces of meat in this way that you're going to get a bark on. Um, when you're smoking it like this. If I remember correctly, true traditional Santa Maria tri-tip, uh, they actually sort of reverse sear it, put it on the coals, the red oak, right first and get sort of a nice little char on it, then move it in direct um, and cook it until it's done. Now what I'm gonna do 
before it reaches 125 or right around there, I'm gonna pull it off real quick and sear it on my gas grill just to get a little bit of sear on the outside. Still have really nice smoke coming out of the smoker. Nice and thin. Really clean smoke. Okay, we are just about at 120 internal. And that's why I'm gonna pull it so I can get at those last five degrees on the grill. Ooh. Those are looking good. Gonna let those get a nice sear on them. Okay, one of the tri-tips is right at the temperature. I moved that up to the upper rack with no flame beneath it. The other one's about five degrees off. And as soon as that hits it, I'll pull it and then we're gonna wrap these both in foil. And I'll see you back inside when it's time to cut into them. There is one of the tri-tips. Oh man, it smells good. It smells really, really good. I think it's time to slice into it. And see how it turned out before we taste. Start over here. Ho oh. ho. All right, you ready for this? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Now let's get to the middle. This should be straight in the middle, so this is probably gonna be about the rarest piece. You can't see it, but my dogs are hovering around my feet. Let's check this piece out. Oh, look at that. Perfect medium rare, perfect. I get to taste this now. Look at that. Oh, it is dripping with juice. Oh, man. Oh, sometimes a piece of meat like this is just so good. It's really hard to describe. That rub is so simple. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and it just penetrates in combination with the smoke, with that red oak. Oh, it was so tender. I know that I've heard that tri-tip is not easy to get in every area of the country, but if you can ever get your hands on some and do this to it on a smoker, you are not gonna be disappointed. Oh man, this is so good. It would be wrong for me to eat this whole thing myself, right? Mm. Wow. Wow. It's just, it's just delicious. I mean, it's great. Oh. And that took an hour and a half about. You know, an hour and 20 minutes on smoke, 10 minutes on the grill. And you could do that reverse. You could grill it first and then throw it on the smoker. But what I've found is if you do that, you don't get quite the smoke penetration because you build up a crust on the outside. So I like to do the smoke first and then sear it at the end. At least on this piece of meat, that seems to work best for me. And I've done a lot of tri-tips over the years. I mean, I started smoking tri-tips probably nine years ago uh, when I started getting into smoking. It was one of the first pieces of meat that I smoked. And oh, I've probably done 100, 120 of them over the years. They're just so good. And we don't have any problem getting them here in Southern California. It's pretty easy. They're just about everywhere. Oh, I wish you could taste this. Well, better yet, go out, get one, do it yourself. It is really, really good. Thank you all for watching. It was good to get back out to the smoker. I have a lot more smoking sessions planned in the coming months. So you'll be seeing plenty out there at the Oklahoma Joe's Highland and in other things too. So thanks a lot. Hope you have a great evening. And I'll see you again soon. I'm going to have another piece. Oh. That is so good. Mmm.